Why this movie decided to come out on Valentine's Day weekend, I will never know instead of just waiting until Easter, but the movie is here, and so here is my review for it. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review Peter Rabbit. So Peter Rabbit is directed by Will Gluck. The film is based off of the classic tale by author Beatrix Potter and the film stars Domino Gleeson and Rose Byrne as well as having the voice talents of James Corden as Peter Rabbit himself along with Margot Robbie, Daisy Ridley, Elizabeth Debicki, and Sia. So Peter Rabbit tells the story of the rabbit himself Peter who loves to go to this farmer's garden and harass his neighbor old Mr. McGregor McGregor, like he really enjoys doing this until one day Mr. McGregor dies and when that happens Peter and his animals they have a nice celebration they see it as an opportunity to go to that garden whenever they want without no one getting in their way until Domino Gleason moves in and becomes the new neighbor and so when Peter and the other animals especially Peter do not like the idea of him getting in their way let's just say to put it lightly a lot of shenanigans go down. So going into Peter Rabbit, I was dreading the hell out of this film. I was seriously not looking forward to this film. I was actually up for the idea of a Peter Rabbit movie when I heard about it. When I read the plot synopsis on IMDb and just knowing that movie was going to happen, I was honestly down for it. And then I clicked on that first trailer on the first day it dropped online. And I was seriously horrified. That was so horrible. And so I gave Peter Rabbit a fair chance. And I have to say, it's okay. The movie's okay. Um, it's not anything I'm gonna remember. But it definitely was not as bad, not even close to being as bad as the trailers made it to be. Now, to start with my pauses with Peter Rabbit, I will say, in terms of the animation, on the rabbits at least, the rabbits looked decent. I wouldn't say it's the greatest animation or anything, but I think the rabbits, they looked at least decent. They didn't look that bad. I do think the voice actors did a really good job in here too. Like James Corden, I thought he did do a very good job voicing Peter Rabbit for what he needed to do to bring the character of Peter Rabbit to life. I think he did do a good job with it. Daisy Ridley and Margot Robbie, they also do voice work for this film. Margot Robbie is also the narrator for this film, and I thought she did a very good job narrating the film. Elizabeth Debicki was also really good here. Sia, I guess, was okay. Uh, so voice work-wise, everyone I did think did their job pretty well. Rose Byrne did do a very good job as this character B, who is this woman that Peter and the others are very good friends with. Like, she loves Peter and these other animals. And I thought she did a very good job playing this character. Rose Byrne I always found to be so likable. She was very charming here. Domino Gleeson, I thought, was really freaking good too. He really, um, you could tell he was really getting into character with this film. Uh, when I saw him in the trailer, I was quite hesitant with him. But seeing this movie, the guy goes all out. He is full on cartoony, but I think he pulls off being cartoony very well. He even had really good chemistry with Rose Byrne, which was a surprise to me, but yeah, even him and Rose Byrne had very good chemistry with each other, and they both just acted very well here. And Sam Neill, who, you know, obviously is not in the film that much, but I do think for what he had to do in the film as old Mr. McGregor, he was really good. He's kind of unrecognizable too to be honest. Will Gluck, who is the director of movies like Easy A, Friends with Benefits, and Annie, the 2014 remake, he did a good job here. The directing actually 
wasn't that bad. It was good. I do think the most impressive scenes when he directed this film are the chase sequences. Like when old Mr. McGregor was chasing after Peter and the other animals. And when the new Mr. McGregor is chasing after Peter. It looks very impressive, honestly. The humor at times is surprisingly genuinely funny like there were actually some moments in Peter Rabbit that actually made me laugh and that's something I did not expect there's actually times where it does have very clever humor going for it and it was very well done there's a little running gag that deals with the rooster that I will admit that was actually very funny and pretty clever too. And the film, I will say, it's surprisingly pretty respectful to Beatrix Potter's uh, work with the novel. Uh, one of my worries is that it was just going to trash on that tale, and it really does. It's actually very respectful. There's even a couple of times, especially in the beginning of the film, where it has these traditional animated sequences that, you know, pays homage to the drawings that you would see in the tale. And I thought that was very cool. I thought when the film did have these traditional animated sequences it was actually very cool i honestly wish the rest of the film was like it because those 2d animated sequences were honestly so good um you know like you know it's fine for what it is for live action animation but i do think the film i feel could have been better if it was like that now even though peter rabbit surprisingly does have those good qualities going for it it still does have problems, and these problems are what keeps Peter Rabbit from being at least a good film. Now, while I did see that the humor was actually clever and genuinely funny at times, most of the time I do think the humor really falls flat. I do think it tries way too hard. There are these birds. There's a running gag with like these singing birds and not even the first time it was funny. Every time the, every time these singing birds showed up I'm just like okay can we just stop with this gag. It's very tiring. And there's other gags that are tiring but those singing birds in particular uh, I just did not like at all. And that's the other thing too. There's times where I am genuinely annoyed um, because not only with the humor but just with Peter Rabbit, there's actually times, and that's not to blame James Corden. He does do a good job voicing him. It's more of the character. I know this character is a rebel, but his behavior, I'm not gonna lie, did get on my nerves at times. The script is also incredibly predictable. Um, you know where the film is gonna go, honestly. Seriously, from the moment this movie begins, you already know where it's going to go. You already know how it's going to end. And honestly, everything that I was expecting the film to go, it goes there. There's nothing surprising. There's no twist or turn. Not that every movie needs to have a twist or turn. But yeah, there's just nothing really surprising. The script is honestly incredibly predictable. I think some of the dialogue could have been written a whole lot better. The animation. Oh. Oh, Lord Almighty, it looks bad. Most of it looks bad. Besides the rabbits, which, like I said earlier, they look fine. They look um, decent. They don't look that bad. The rest of the animation on these other species, no. Oh, ho, 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 no. The birds look awful. There's this fox that looks awful. There's this deer that looks awful. The rooster, even though I like that running gag with the rooster, the rooster looks really awful. <laughs> like pretty much every single animal besides for the rabbits, they look awful. There's not really much of a score here. Most of it is just a bunch of random songs. And that's another thing that really took me out of the film. The songs in this film, while I do really like them, most of them did not belong in the movie. Like sure, I'm, I'm watching the movie and there's a certain song that's playing. I'm like, I really like this song. Maybe only one song, I guess, belonged in the film and I forgot what it was, but other than that, I thought all of these random songs that they would throw into the film, it was just so 
out of nowhere and it felt so incredibly out of place. And this one is more of a minor problem, but I will say there's a few times where I was actually quite bored watching the film. Most of the pacing, um, to this movie's credit, most of the pacing is actually not that slow. It finds a way to keep going and going. But there are a few times where I was getting kind of bored watching this film and it could have picked up the pace just a little bit and I would even say even though I really like Rose Byrne and I do actually like her character the major problem I did have with their character is the fact that she believes a bunch of rabbits but she doesn't believe Domino Gleeson like I get it she holds these rabbits nearest and dearest to, into her heart but the fact that she's starting to have this connection with Domino Gleason and all she believes are just the rabbits but not him. I just thought that was stupid. <laughs> Overall Peter Rabbit is surprisingly okay. There's some good humor, very good humor I would even say. Most of the movie is surprisingly entertaining. It's forgettable granted but it's entertaining. It's able to get me through. It's a decent film. Those problems I did mention however are what hold it back from being a good movie. I can't quite say it's good, but it's decent. I was entertained. I'm not mad I saw the film. I'm gonna give Peter Rabbit two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think about Peter Rabbit? Were you looking forward to the movie? Were you not looking forward to the movie? Did it live up to your expectations? Did it not live up to your expectations? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much as always for watching. This is 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.